Hello everyone, welcome back to Techie Pocket. So a few people, actually a lot of people have been asking me to make a uh, one year review on the Sunday LM1. So I'm going to go over all the things that I changed, all the things that I think you should change if you own this bike, and then I'm going to change because I own this bike, and all the problems that I had. So uh, the main thing, one of the most important things I'd say is definitely I need to change that fork. This coil fork is really bad. It springs back way too hard and takes a lot of force to compress it. It's really starting to slow me down now that I'm getting faster. Uh, these tires, they actually still feel pretty good. I'm planning on keeping them till they're worn down and then I'll probably get some from WTB. This is just cardboard. I put that here because uh, I didn't want to have to zip tie some good ones to this coil, coil fork I'm going to get rid of. Uh, as for the grips, these handlebars are really good. I changed the brakes because the brake calipers I didn't like and also because I'm trying to go one by I wanted to get rid of that uh, I wanted to get rid of the front derailleur I'll go after that later I got new grips lock-ons these uh, Avid FR7 I think uh, brake levers feel really good these are those pedals I made a review of they're still going strong I also have some uh, race face uh, crank protectors now I definitely want to go one by up here and get new cranks. The cranks are creaking and they're not as strong as I would have liked. And the uh, chain is constantly falling off the front. So I had to add a chain catcher and I got rid of the front derailleur because I never use it and I'm going to go to one by anyways. I'm going to go one by ten but I can't yet. The brakes are still the same, they're pretty good. I changed the seat to a Bell Sport seat. It's very mushy and comfy. And then the derailleur broke. That was my fault because I crashed it. I replaced it with the Shimano Altus. Works a lot better than the one that it came with. I also got a, uh, what's this called? Chainstay protector. It's a neoprene one. Uh, I don't really recommend this. I recommend just wrapping it in tube. It actually looks better in my opinion and it's more durable than this because this slides all over the place. Now the wheels on this bike are pretty good. The only problem is that it needs a freewheel instead of a cassette. So I'm definitely going to change these out. I'll have that link down below to the ones that I think are perfect for this bike. I'm going to change these out so I can get a cassette on there because since this has a freewheel every time I do a jump that's like two feet, at, just two feet, a jump that's two feet already breaks the uh, axle so I switched over to a solid axle hopefully that helps it but I haven't jumped ever since then because I don't want to break it again these things are just some pieces of inner tube that I zip tied in certain places where I noticed the paint was getting scratched up and besides that this is still going as a really good bike after I upgrade these few things which I'm gonna make videos about every time I upgrade I think this is going to be a really nice hardtail, so thanks for watching guys, and uh, go ahead and buy this bike if you want it.